Hello everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make your own clipping masks for some of the products I have in my store at Scrap Orchard. Um, you'll see my round borders here and my 12 by 12, 12, by 12 frames here. Um, they're just plain frames and outlines. There's no clipping masks or anything that come with them. So I'm going to show you a quick way um, to make your own clipping mask if you wanted to use these um, to fill them with paper or photos. I'm going to start with my solid, one of my solid outlines here. Um, you're going to want a solid one to start with. You're going to use your magic wand tool, make a new layer, um, click on the outline layer, um, and make sure you have a highlight. Click on it and you'll have a highlighted. You can see the little ants moving around there. So then you're going to go to your new layer and paint it. Um, it doesn't matter what color it is because you're just going to use it as a mask. And there you have your basic clipping mask. Now I'll show you. You just take your photo or paper or whatever you want to um, clip to it. I'm going to move my photo over here and hit Control Alt G for um, uh, Photoshop users and then Control G for Elements users. And there you can see it clipped it and you have that outline um, there if you want to use that. And then resize the picture. Now I can I can resize the whole thing if I want to, just by highlighting all the layers um, and resize it to make it smaller. If I want to add it to a a page or if I want leave it the way it is, if I want it really big on my page, whatever it might be. Now what I can do is I can take these these other outlines that come with the the circa outlines, the um, dotted ones here. If I wanted to, I could I could um, hide that one and take this one and drag it on the top and if I hold down shift while I'm while I'm dragging it over it's going to line it up perfectly with that photo um, so that's a way to get an outline the dotted outline around your mask or you could simply just use the outlines to make your own mask and there you have the scallop mask um, now I'm going to show you quickly my other frames here um, so here I might want to fill in each of these frames with a different circle. I do the same thing, make sure I'm on, on that mask layer, that frame layer. Um, just select whichever circle I might want to put my photo in, make a new layer, paint it, and there I have the clipping mask for that particular layer. Um, and I can do that, do that same thing again for any other circle that I want. Just make a new layer and paint it. And there you have your mask right there. And um, depending on where you want your shadows, how you want it, you might want to layer your frame so that it's on the very top, so it's over top of your, your uh, papers and photos. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, I'll be back next week with another tutorial.